show you how the quick lock fork hooks up to the Cessna and um, also some of your Lance Air products. This is the same quick lock fork we use on a Cirrus and tailwheel airplanes. This will move about 20 different airplanes. The size adjustments right here, every 3 16 of an inch is another size. You don't need any tools. This inside diameter is the size that fits most aircraft that has a pin, They're usually a half inch pin. So that slides on, there's a little bit of play and that's by design. So you don't want it to fit too snug. Um, and then this outside shoulder is what Cessna uses. So we don't even have to put an adapter. We have a lot of adapters for this, but you don't need an adapter for Cirrus or for like this Cessna here. So the thing is, is to pull the airplane up to the aircraft. On a Cirrus, this clears the front of the wheel pant. On this aircraft here, it doesn't. What you don't want to do is don't put it up on top. If you try to winch it in, this will come down and crush the wheel pant. It attaches underneath and just locks and you want to make sure that pins drop. The other important thing is these little tabs are slightly bent up. And that's by design for, for it when it cages here. If these tabs are bent down, you've got this upside down and it'll look right until you try to cage it into here and then it'll be wobbly and won't work. So make sure these are up and um, often there'll be a sticker on the, that says this side up. But that's the important thing. These aren't down, but up just like this. And you can see that can touch there, but we'll see it gets real close, but it's safe. So put the tug in low range, make sure the tug's chalked, take the ramp all the way until it touches the tire, just like that, and then you just winch it right up, nice and easy. Now I'm turning the throttle just barely on the tug so that I'm not having to crank. So we'll come back and do that again. When I unload, I turn this, pull the aircraft back, and I I always leave the quick lock fork attached when I unload because then the airplane can't run away down the ramp and it pulls the strap out to the exact right length for next time you hook it up. So now if you come up here, if you watch how I do this, and we recommend that aircraft is chalked for this, but you can twist here, but that could be a really heavy nose wheel. And to crank a heavy airplane up is difficult. So if the plane's chalked, put this in low range, Barely crack the throttle, just about as slow as you can get it to go. Those tires are barely, put it in push mode. <laughs> so push, low range, barely turn the throttle, and the tug's going to drive underneath there, so I'm not having to winch real hard. There's no reason for this to be a big effort if you go in low range and just crack it. But I can't emphasize enough, low range, barely crack it, have the aircraft chalked, what I don't want you to do is drive your airplane into the back wall, which you can very easily. So practice with it. If you want to, you can turn off the tug, keep your hands away from the throttle, and just winch it on manually. And some of our customers do that, arguably the safer thing to do. But if you've got good chocks, it shouldn't jump the chocks if you don't panic and go full throttle. There we go. Hope that helps.